channel. Oh, and we have a very good cause. And my mom will tell you why. So guys, we uh, our goal is that we use this channel for charity. Charity for kids. So if we gain success through this channel, we would like to use our resources towards charity. So please show your fantastic support and subscribe. It's really only free to subscribe. Thank you. Environment. What do we need to learn about environment? I still don't quite get it. What about desserts? So we can have hot desserts and cold desserts in kids. So we can have hot desserts and cold desserts. Or ten large desserts. And um, why? And whenever it's night time, everything is really cold and windy. But um, when it's morning, everything is really hot. Why can't it be the same day and night? Who can live in such extreme temperatures? So, what is the danger which desserts are facing because of global warming? Ocean. So what danger are oceans facing? Krill is whale's food. Because there is no krill, the whales die. And this is how it's interlinked. Uh, slowly, all the species are going to die. Here we've got a picture. This is our earth and these are all the different environments around the world. Okay. So what kind of environments do we have? So basically we can find deserts, oceans. Oh, first, the pole. Is it in danger? Yes. Okay, how? Um, so, you know, um, the global warming. Oh, so are you going to show us ahead what it is? Yeah. Do you think we can do anything to help global warming? Yes. Wait till the end to learn about it. Okay, so let's get started. Before we start, can you explain what is environment? So an environment is like everything around us. Okay. So the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or plant lives or operates, that is an environment. Okay, now I've understood what environment is, but I still don't know why should we learn about environment. It's, it is because... Um, um, all the rubbish has been thrown at me and how can we learn if we don't know about environment? So tell me, why do we need to learn about environment? I still don't quite get it. Unless we don't learn about it, we, we won't be able to solve it. Oh, okay. So you're telling me that we need to learn because unless we don't know, we will remain ignorant. Ignorant, hmm? ignorant means we we are not even aware that our environment is in danger. I'm aware of it. I clean, and once I was playing at the park and I picked up all the trash. That's a good thing. But many of us are still ignorant about our environment. So unless we learn about it, we will not know what all damage has happened. What all can happen. So, what do you want to start with? Which environment I want to talk about first? Um, what about the desert? Okay, let's take a look. So, deserts are dry. They are really dry. They are the driest environments. And they, had, they have hardly any rain at all. <laughs> so, can deserts be only hot? Or they can be cold as well? Uh, so, we can have hot deserts. Cold so where can we find the cold deserts? Okay, and where can we find the hot deserts? Remember equator? That's the hottest point of the earth. Oh, so around the equator we have hot deserts. Okay. So basically we've got 10 large deserts. The Great, Great Basin in North America, Patagonia in South America, Sahara and Kalahari in Africa, Syrian, Arabian and Gobi in Asia, Great Victoria in Australia, Arctic and Antarctic at the poles. So as Prisha said, 
the days are really hot and it could go up to 45 degrees Celsius. What is degree Celsius? It's in a unit to measure um, all the temperature. Okay. And at night, it could go up to zero degrees. Zero degrees, it's really, really cold. But I have a question. Hmm? Why, and whenever it's nighttime, everything is really cold and windy. But um, when it's morning, everything is really hot. Why can't it be the same day and night? What do you think? What gives us the heat? Sun? Yes. So, do we have any sunlight at night? So the that's the answer. Yes, yeah, so that gives the answer. Moon doesn't give the cold. Sun gives us the heat. So because sun is not there, there is no heat and that is why it is cold. So who can live in such extreme temperatures? Tell me. Um, um, a hedgehog. Okay. Um, a camel. Okay. Um, lizards. Okay. Um, there's um, ones that have the long tongues. Chameleons, and, okay. Yeah, and the ones that color change. Okay. And we can also have scorpions and ostriches. Scorpions. Yes. So they hide from the sun during daytime, but as soon as it's night and it's a little cold, they all come out. But since there is no water in desert, what do you think? Rock pools. Yes, rock pools. But what do they do? Do they carry a water bottle with them? Of course not. But camels easily have water stored in their homes. You remember that feature? Yes, so camels store their water in the fat which is in their hump. Uh, thorny devil lizards, they store water in their thorns. Fennel foxes, they get water from the meat which they eat. So, what is the danger which deserts are facing because of global warming? What can happen? Everything is becoming really, really, really warm. Yes, so deserts are becoming even more hotter and life has become difficult. And because of that, many species have been marked as endangered or even extinct. Ocean. Yes, so the oceans cover 70% of our Earth's surface and we have five large oceans. Can you name them for us? I know a song. Okay. Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Southern, Arctic. <laughs> okay. So the ocean is full of plants and animals of all shapes, size and like, color. Like um, the ocean has from the tiniest the biggest what um, all the animals yes so the ocean is home to leafy sea dragon which is very peculiar there is a colossal squid which grows up to 14 meters we have krills which are tiny and we have blue whale which is the largest living animal on earth is it up to there, up to there? no it's really huge it's it's huge even your car is smaller in front of a whale a blue whale. So, what danger are oceans facing? Um, oceans um, are facing the global warming. Yes, but what? Because of global warming, what is happening um, to them? Everything is getting heat, and um, since um, all the coral can't find its food, it's starting to die. And um, since the whale can't find its food, Okay, it's not coral, it's krill. So if we take a look at something over here, krills and krills eat smaller ocean animals. Because of uh, warming, these small animals die and there is no food for the krill. So the krill dies. Now krill is whale's food. Because there is no krill, the whales die. And this is how it's interlinked. And uh, slowly, all the species are going to die. Like this, like this, like this. It's like in the... It's a vicious circle. Yeah, the vicious, vicious, vicious circle. Another effect because of the pollution is uh, oil spills which keep on happening. Um, once when I was reading my reading book, um, in between I saw a big black wood and it had oil and it was burning. Yes. So, because of oil, the animals get coated in oil and they can't survive. They get suffocated and they die. 
plus people are dumping plastics we are dumping a lot of garbage in oceans we are dumping chemicals in ocean we are dumping everything in ocean the marine life is quite in danger actually which environment i want to talk about kisha small fun fact so chocolate mango and banana trees were actually first found inside a tropical rainforest the world's largest butterfly so how are the tropical rainforests affected by global warming we've come to our last environment which is the poles and it is so frozen and full of ice how do uh, animals live there so how are the poles in danger prisha oh, do you think we can help this situation prisha mm -hmm.